How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla today. For you guys, we are playing Ranked 1v1 and due to popular requests, I'm going to be continuing Ranked 1v1 with Moonin. Moonin is the newest legend added to Brawlhalla. Moonin has Scythe and Bow, but I'm sure you guys all know that by now. Uh, I don't think I've used my newly minted black colors on Moonin in Ranked 1v1 yet, so I kind of want to do that. I actually really do like the lethal loot bow, just because it has those spikes on the end. And then for the scythe, um, I guess we can go ahead and use... As a, as a, actually, let's use something cool. Let's use something a little bit flashy, since we're using kind of a basic uh, bow. How about an animated scythe? Where is the... where is... I? oh, okay. There we go. How about hotline slash? That one looks good. I guess for the, uh, the stance, I'm going to go with defense, just because it kind of balances out the uh, stats a little bit. And, uh, yeah, wish me luck. Uh, so far we're at 1863 ELO. Um, I've been Diamond 21 seasons, I think, in Brawlhalla, so I should be able to get Diamond again. Uh, there we go, Diamond Emblem Tier 20. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Closed Beta Crests, why not? And, uh, yeah, we got a ways to go, though. I don't really, uh, expect to get Diamond in this video, just because we have quite a way to go, but... Hopefully we'll make some good progress and get close enough so that by the next video we'll be able to just go ahead and get diamond. Alright, we got our first game here going against a Giro. Ooh, I love it. Leonardo. Very cool. I love that Leonardo skin actually. Alright guys, I'm always nervous when I ju <laughs> jump into rank, so <clears throat> wish me luck. Here we go. Oh, okay. I, I usually always let them get a weapon, but... Oh man, he came in so hot and then literally just kind of killed himself. That's unfortunate, but sometimes that's just how it is in ranked. I love hitting that neutral sig a lot, so expect to see it. Ooh, got him with the side sig. Feels good. Ooh, that's another stock right there. People don't expect the down sig with the scythe on Moonin on the edge of the platform for some reason, even though it's an excellent edge guard move. I don't uh, expect to lose this, but we're gonna go ahead and play safely anyways because he's still trying pretty, pretty hard to win here, which I respect. Oh wow, my scythe went right through him on that weapon throw! Did you guys see that? Or else it bounced over him? I don't know, but that was weird. Alright, I haven't even really used the uh, the bow yet, so... Ooh, he's lucky that didn't hit. Ooh, that's GG! I think he wasn't really used to playing against Moonin or something, because he kind of went into the sigs. But GG, dude, well played. I gotta say, he came out swinging, like, strong. Alright, 14 elo, getting a little bit more XP on Moonin. Let's go ahead and try a different color. How about the haunting colors this time? And a different bow. I really do like the hunter's tail bow. It looks really cool. And for the scythe, how about... How about the other animated scythe, the pale horse? Alright, finally got a match. This time we're going against... Uh... I think it says Hyena. <laughs> kind of a crazy spelling, but... Oh man, Kaya is a tough legend to go against, so I gotta be careful here. Kaya has really cool sigs. Oh, she has honor! Thank you. I love it when, when I let them get a weapon, and then they, they respond by letting me get a weapon. When they don't have to. Good sportsmanship right there. Hmm. Spear is a great scythe counter. Ooh. I hesitated a little bit. I was thinking about the side sig, and then I was like, you know what? I'll just do it. 
Ooh, I actually hit with that. Held it for extra damage there. Ooh, I hit it again. Oh, I should have hit that one too, to be honest. Nah, nah, nah. You ain't gonna kill me with that down sig. Actually, you might. Oops, that wasn't a good move. Ooh, she helped us up. No way, that actually killed her. Oh man, I was just trying to like use her to get back on the stage, but... Oh, I knew that was gonna kill me. Such a good move. Well done, well done. Kaya is really good for the SIGs. Ow, 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 this one hurts. Ooh, I almost hit her. Get some damage off unarmed, that, that's always good. She's on final stock, so honestly, all we gotta do is play it pretty safe here. Oh no, not another one. Hold that, no. What? I did down light. Oh no, 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 you're not gonna get me like that. Oh uh, yeah, she's she's almost dead. Oh my. Stop Kaya! Not like this! Oh my goodness. Alright, final stocks. Hey, she she's actually looking at a reverse three stock here if she's if she's careful. Ooh, that that might be it. Nope. How about that one? Yep, we got her. GG, dude, GG. That was, that was pretty good. I like how she came back. Like, literally got me all the way to uh, my final stock there. So, well played, Hyena. All right, we're making good progress. Hyena was a little bit lower ELO, so we didn't get that much uh, ELO for, for winning. Let's go ahead and do Charge Doji. And then on the bow, let's do... Heaven's Order. That one actually looks like it has wings on the bow, which kind of goes with the bird vibe, I guess. And then for the scythe, I'm thinking... Mm, nah, 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 nah. Let's do Autumn Harvest. This one is kind of a rare scythe, and it does look really cool on Moonin. It's a lamp post. I mean, birds perch on lamp posts, right? This bow does look really cool. All right, we got our next match. Let's see who we're going against. Fox Noodles, interesting name. And a Caspian at that, ooh, and a Plague Knight Caspian. One of my favorite skins in the game. Just because of the signatures. The Plague Knight changes the signatures of Caspian to look a little bit different. Same as Diamond Head. Man, Fox is good. Fox is really good. I could tell this is going to be a tough fight. The best way to fight Gauntlets is try to be unpredictable. You know, they they really want to go for the reads. So try to do the unexpected. Oh my gosh, that was unexpected. And we touched wall, but, oh, maybe not. I thought I touched wall. I guess he grabbed right as we were touching, so it didn't really count. Gauntlets are just too good. We gotta be very careful. There it is. The best move on Scythe Moonin is definitely the neutral sig. That one just hits so well, especially when they like to be floaty. I bet you he wanted to do a down sig, but instead did the side, but I don't really know. Gotta be careful, these gauntlet strings can be terribly deadly. Oh, I thought that would grab. There we go, we hit him with that. Woo! 
He went deep for that. And it worked. We countered. I mean, it worked for us. I saw him coming in hot. Mm, that was that was risky. Got a good read there on the Sig. At this point, we just gotta stay aggressive and hope we can get this win, cause honestly, it's a pretty even match here. Oh yeah, let's go. That wasn't smart, but it's okay. We got it. So close. Oh yeah, GG dude, GG. We barely dodged that down sig on Caspian 2. That was really close. <laughs> well played dude, well played. That was like the best game so far. Oh, so close to uh, 1900. Literally one elo off. We did get level 26 moon in though, so that's exciting. Um, all right, let's do one more game, last game. And uh, at this point, we've won three in a row, so it doesn't even really matter if I lose this next one. We're still gonna end the video on a net gain. So that's the most important thing. Like, I know playing ranked is stressful. So usually what I do is I only play ranked in short little bursts. I only play like four or five games at a time. And if I start losing multiple, just take a break, you know? Code of Lions looks incredible, so I want to use this uh, color. And, uh... For the bow... I kind of want to use... Oh yeah, I love this one. Spiteful Scepter. This is, like, incredible. Definitely using that uh, bow. And then for the scythe... I, I, like, never use Skyforge Scythe. Should I use it? It goes with the, uh... With the color scheme, I guess. I don't know why I bought the Skyforge Scythe. It's like pretty much the only weapon I have in Skyforged, I think. I may have bought another one, but it's been so long. Like, All right, uh, last match. We're going against another Diamond, so it should be a really close game. And we're going against Vishoni playing as Mordex, or rather Daimyo, Skyforge Daimyo, which looks really cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm starting to get a cold, so my throat's getting a little bit raspy. So far, he hasn't even really touched us. It's a good sign. I really like using Moon and Sigs, especially when they're like kind of in red already. I should have actually done a uh a side sig there cuz Oh no! That was so close. Boom boom boom. We can get this win. That would be great. Ooh, he went right above us. Woo, we got him with the side sig. Let's go. For some reason, my game is feeling a little bit laggy. I'm not sure why. That side sig on bow is, is hard to punish. Ooh, he did it there, though. Got a nice read. If we can get this stock right here, that would be really useful because then we'd be up by two. Ooh. 
Didn't get that weapon throw very good. Oh, I thought he was gonna neutral air, but the recovery worked as well. That's okay, we got him into deep red, so we have a pretty good position uh, to win this still. Just gotta keep the, the foot on the pedal, so to speak. Oh yeah, he dodged through, and that move hits on both sides, which makes it very useful. Oops. He wants to play on the edge here because it benefits him more than me. I'm up a stock, you know. I don't I don't want to get gimped right here on the edge. That would be terrible. He dodged up. He dodged behind. GG. Yep. Well played, dude. Wow, we actually did really good this uh, video. GG, dude, GG. He was actually higher elo than us, and boom, there we go, 1916. So, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get to Diamond with Moonin, no problem. I mean, I, there's always gonna be bumps in the road. I'm kind of surprised we didn't lose a game, to be honest, because usually I lose at least once, but hey, you know, Moonin is actually one of the legends that I really like. Uh, I've always wanted a bow and scythe legend. Uh, you, can, you can find me saying, years ago that I wish I, there was a bow and scythe legend so now that there is I don't know baby moonin is like my new main I haven't really had a main since Bryn and that was like four years ago so anyways guys let me know what you think and uh yeah I hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for the support as always this is Lucian Sword take it easy friends